In Logo, programs often use function blocks in which parameters can be preset. Users, however, frequently need to be able to change these parameters while the program is operating. Such changes can be needed, for example, to switching times or switching thresholds for temperature readings or similar variables. In general, it's possible in Logo to make setting changes directly at the display in the change parameters mode. Or it is convenient to introduce them at a text display unit that can be located at some distance away from Logo. Our example program controls switching operations for a school's outdoor lighting system and we have various sections in the display. In the upper section, I can define set switching times. Here in this area, I can set exclusion times, such as during school vacations or periods at night. It's also possible for me to use switches to manually operate the entire system, turning lights on or off. And here, finally, I have various switching parameters displayed in message texts. In regard to vacation periods, for example, I can enter when the summer vacation and Christmas, winter and Easter holidays will be, and thereby override the set automatic switching. So, that's all I need to do to make these settings in the software. Let's take a look now at how I can change all that on the device. The following setting can be made either on the logo base device or at the external text display unit. The text display unit offers the advantage that I can mount it a long way away from the control cabinet, for example in the office of the facility manager. The unit's basic display shows the date and time. In this display, I can change over to the logo settings by pressing the escape button. There I select the menu item, program, and see the function there, set parameter. When I select this function, an entire list of function modules appears in which parameters can be changed. From this list, I now choose the holiday timer so that I now see the parameters currently set and can work my way through the parameter list item by item. Here, for example, would be the date on which the system is to switch into operation. I can now select the date by pressing the Enter button, specifically changing the date and then subsequently re-hitting Enter to confirm the setting, which changes the switching periods and times correspondingly. I return them by hitting the Escape key, so that was the procedure enabling me to change parameters directly in the Change Parameter mode. The advantage here is that, contrary to the programming mode, Logo stays in run, meaning that my program continues working and parameters can be changed during ongoing operation. The more elegant procedure for changing parameters is by way of the message texts. To do so, I switch on the message texts and use the cursor key to switch back and forth between various message texts. Here, once again, I see my vacation switching periods and times. When I want to change something in this menu, I press and hold down the escape key until the cursor appears in the display. The cursor up and cursor down keys enable me to select the parameter that I wish to change. And by hitting the enter key, I then confirm that I wish to change this parameter. Now, the cursor indicates very specifically a single number and I am able to select the item and adjust and set the switching time as desired. 
I return them by hitting the escape key until the cursor has disappeared again from the display. So, that was the procedure for changing settings directly in the message text on the device. Another way to change settings, if the logo is connected to a web server, is for me to perform the entire process with a tablet computer. To do so, I first open the menu by tapping on the parameters. Then I can change each parameter here as I wish and confirm with OK. This allows me to set the new switching time via a mobile device. That's how easy it is to adjust settings with Logo. Logo. Simply ingenious. Simply more.